new film breakdown today. We're going to be looking over a Nebraska commit who was named the best player in all of Missouri high school football. His name's Keelan Smith, wide receiver slash tight end. And this is one of my guys in the class of 2024 for Nebraska. One of the guys who I think is going to be a lot better than a lot of people expect. So today we're going to be looking over his film, things he does well, some things he needs to work on, but most importantly, stuff that we are super excited to see for the next four to five years as Nebraska's Cornhusker in this offense. So without further ado, if you like the content, please hit the like button. It really helps me out, along with subscribing to the channel. If you want to see more instant analysis, film breakdowns, and recruiting videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. But let's start it off with Keelan Smith. All right, let's start it off. Again, if you're not familiar with the formatting, we do purely his highlights at the start, the best of his best from his senior year, and then we get to his film, rep by rep, and that'll really show us the good and the stuff that maybe he needs to work on. But let's start things off. And if you're not familiar with him, he's listed at about 6'3", 210 pounds, and led his team to the Missouri State title game, and they won it basically on his back. And you saw the stats there, 1,300 yards. Post rug, nice footwork, underthrown football. Again, the run after the catch does the rest. He takes to the crib. And you're going to see a lot of that in his film. Just a post route down the middle, and he does all the rest. Same deal there, man. Again, nice footwork, quick cut, finds a gap in the zone. Double covers this time. Man, and he comes down with it once again. Has a little bit of a trouble. Bringing it down. Let's see if he even high points the football here. It doesn't do a great job high pointing the football. Comes down a little bit with his chest. But other than that, nice play. And real quick, we're going to be looking at, well, I'll say, I'll say my bet after this play. Yeah, nice there. So we've already seen four plays and four post routes. Something that I like to see when we're evaluating wide receivers is that depth in their route package. Do they have the ability to run a quick slant, a comeback route, a dig route, a screen? Do they have that run after catch ability? So that's, these are all things that we're going to be evaluating when we watch Keelan Smith uh, for the first time. But we already see him running post routes time and time again. Nice go. Goes up and gets it, man. Nice job to basically lay out for the football, put two hands under it. So early on, we've just seen go routes and post routes. You also want to see, oh, I was just about to say, you also want to see his physicality in that run blocking department. And one second here after we see this clip, nice play run for the catch, exactly what I wanted to see. Um, there's been a lot of questions about whether or not he's going to play wide receiver or tight end for Nebraska. He will be more likely than not wide receiver. That's what he was recruited to play. That's what he said he was going to play for Nebraska. And that's the right move. He's listed at 6'3", 210. Honestly, not big enough for him to play tight end, at least not yet. I wouldn't be surprised um, if we do end up moving to tight end. He reminds me a lot of Chris Hickman when he was coming out of high school and coming to Nebraska where he's basically borderline um, between a wide receiver and a tight end. So, again, we'll be interesting to see what we do with him, but I would not doubt if we put him at wide receiver for the entirety of his career. And, again, that's exactly what he played at the high school level. Nice play there to find a gap in the zone coverage. Nice play there by the quarterback as well. And that's basically a hospital pass. You're embracing the contact. You're waiting for this lurking safety to hit you, and you still put two hands on that football and bring it down. It's a hard catch. Nice double move, and then he lays out, gets a block. And his running back brings it to the house. And this is a really good sell here. A lot of times your goal, especially as the only progression on this running play, is that you're trying to sell it like you're going out for a route. He does a good job faking the double move. And then lays him out. I mean, you can't do it much better from a wide receiver blocking perspective. And this is something that I'm really interested to see in. Is that speed? Is that burst? We know he's big. We know he's 6'3". Does he have that run for catchability? Does he have a couple bags? Or excuse me, trick in his bags? Does he have that stiff arm, that juke move, that spin move, that truck? Does he have speed in general? Things that we're all trying to watch. Because we know he has that 6'3 frame. And we know that Matt Rule loves to get guys 
um, who not only are super big, but guys who have that burst ability. You see that with Jaden Lloyd, Malachi Coleman, both guys who have good size, but can run legit four fours. And you see that um, in this class as well for Nebraska. But I like his physicality early on. Again, he's not as physical as we're look. I mean, as a tight end would be. That's why he's not going to play tight end for Nebraska. He's going to play wide receiver. So, not going to overly critique that. A nice little quick comeback. Nice run after the catch. Again, head swivel, bang. I mean, we've seen her, some horrific defense early on. This is a busted cover two. That cornerback's just sitting there on the flat, and there wasn't a single safety to pick him up. Um, not exactly impressive there from Keelan Smith, just taking advantage of ineptitude. So nice job here to go up and get I'm, I don't think this is inbounds. Yeah, that is not inbounds, but nice job to even just catch the football in general. A little motion. A nice run after the catch. Just keep his balance and get a couple extra yards. Something that we're going to look for in the rest of his film is that uh, plays in the red zone. Does he have some fades? Does he have a play where, you know, if the quarterback's under duress, can he go toward the sideline and get open? So things that we're also going to be looking for here. But again, nice physicality, right? Like he's just basically doing anything to keep the play alive, keep those legs churning. Another nice uh, run block. Another nice run block. Man, this is just pure grit by Keelan Smith. Again, this play's going nowhere anytime soon. And he just stays up, breaks one tackle, breaks another. Tries to break to the outside, breaks another stiff arm, and he basically needs a fourth guy to bring him down. Another lapse in the defense, a go route, takes to the house. Again, he's not the fastest guy in the world, but he's quick and he has some great footwork. <sighs> Bulldozer. I mean, we'll go back to that real quick. And Nebraska fans love to see this type of stuff. Love to see blocking an open field, especially in the run game. He dragged this guy five yards, ten yards back, and basically drug him out of bounds against his own will. Another nice quick screen. Stays up, breaks one tackle, gets the first down. So this is what you want to see, a goal line package. Corner route, gets the separation and man coverage. Nice pass, nice throw, two feet and bounce, perfect execution. So we're going to watch a couple more of these highlights and then we'll get into his film. Get another nice job to stay up, break the first tackle. He breaks the first tackle about every single time. Bubble screen, good blockers in front, cuts it back out. Keeps those legs churning, dude. Good, good ball carrier vision. Again, cut it back outside. See where your blockers are going. Go the opposite way. Same to there. Look at this block and open field. Great job to basically cover off the outside. All right, that was his senior year highlights. Now let's get into his rep by rep film. All right, let's get into his film. This was pulled from the High V High School game of the week there in Missouri, one versus two. So. And playing against the best talent. Let's start it off. Nice little bubble screen. Again, you see a lot of those in this offense and great speed after the catch, that rack that we were talking about earlier. Same deal there. High points that football. Fade route to the end zone. That's a flag. And, yep, they call it right at the end. We'll go back to that real quick. Right... Ear. They'll call that every day of the week. Just got grabby on that left arm. Yep. Same old bubble screen. Again, you see, again, you see a lot of that in this offense for Liberty North. When you have a three or four star on your roster, you just want to give them the ball no matter what. 
Okay, we'll go back to this. Not ideal here from Keelan. Again, you're trying to make a play on this defender. I get it. That stiff arm. He's went back to it time and time again. But heads up play here by this safety to basically strip at that football. And Keelan's lucky it went out of bounds. Quick little comeback and speed does the rest. Again, I just love the burst on him. Right? Look at the head swivel. Right? Catch the football. Footwork. Bang. Stiff arm and he's gone. Love that. Another go route. It's just a terrible pass. We have seen some bad passes here in this uh, highlight reel. This is about five yards too short. There's nothing you can do there as a wide receiver. <sighs> a drop here by Keelan Smith. It's a good ball. Actually a little bit late. He's lucky the defender didn't make a better play. Um, yeah, he had two hands on just dropped it. It's one of those times where you're kind of embracing um, the contact and you're thinking about that too much, so you drop the football. I don't, don't even think about that aspect of it. Another bad football. Just just another horrendous, another horrendous pass. You can't do anything as a as a receiver. That's way too late. All right, so... Not the best pass in the world again here, but it's on the sticks and it hits him in the bread basket. Two hands on that football. Look at that. Just drops it once more. He's not happy about it. All right. So this is from one of his other games this year. Again, nice run after the catch early on. Just a bulldozer. Oh, we've already seen some of these clips. First one. Nice play in the end zone. Screen pass. You love his physicality, the ability to just stay up, keep going, keep those legs churning. It's the effort, man. Football is 95% effort out there. Good same deal there. Post route, man, drops it again. That's the third drop we've seen here on this film for from Keelan Smith. I don't know if you guys can see this on the top of the screen. Again, has two hands on on that post route. Good defense. I think he was just, his eyes were ahead of him, was looking at that end zone. Ball drops to the ground. Nice job to go up and get it. Again, not a great throw. We'll go back to that real quick. I don't know if he actually came down with that. It was, we'll see if we can see the ball jarred free. Goes up, has it, has it, has it. I don't see it fall down. I think he has it, man. Nice play by Keelan. Embrace the contact and still come down with it. And last clip goes up, gets it, 50-50 ball. All right. So that was his film. Now let's talk about my takes and analysis. All right. That was Keelan Smith's film. Let's start it off with the pros. The things you cannot teach. 6-3, 2 Great quickness with that frame. Great speed with that frame. Um, really, really impressive. That's the type of things that Matt Rule loves to see from his wide receiver commits. And I know that's going to bond well with Marcus Satterfield's offense. Number two, great production behind his name. A lot of times you see these wide receiver commits we know are super gifted. They're 6'3". They're four, they can run a 4'4 four, four speed, but they just don't have that much production. He has both. He has more than 1,000 yards receiving. He led his team on his back to a state title championship. Um, so that's really impressive. Number three, he has grit. I'm going to address this again. He's going to be a wide receiver for Nebraska. That's what he was recruited as. That's what he played in high school. He is just not big enough frame wise to be a tight end. He has a really nice package though in the run game, um, has the ability to have a run after the catch, really nice job keeping those legs churning, really nice use of the stiff arm. So that was something I was really impressed to see in this film. Now, as for some of the cons, there aren't too many. Um, just starting off with his hands, they weren't awesome. He had a couple drop passes there in his film. Oftentimes, he didn't show that he would high point the ball. He'd come down a lot with his chest. That's a lot of times when they get to college, you need to work on bringing it down with two hands and two hands only. So just a slight thing he needs to work on. And number two, um, just not a very in-depth route package. That's not a con that's unique to him. A lot of times, these wide receivers coming out of high school deal with that because they only the coaches only run about one or two routes consistently because they work so well, right? We only saw Keelan Smith run three routes: a go route, a crosser route, or excuse me, a post route, and then number three, a screen. We only saw those three basically consistently throughout the film. Um, 
a lot of times that's what coaches do because they're working so well. Why would you go away from them? So uh, something that he needs to work on a little bit to basically prove that he has the ability to run the full route tree. Um, something that I was impressed with with Ja'Cory Barney and Isaac and Morris, if you have not seen those film reactions, that they had that full route tree and it was really impressive uh, just at the high school level. But nothing really a big deal there. But other than that, really nice film. There's a reason why this is one of my my guys. I believe he's a hard worker. He's going to do whatever it takes to win for Nebraska, and I'm really excited to see him at that wide receiver spot. So as always, let me know what you think down below. Um, and again, if you want to see anybody else in this film reaction series, also let me know. Um, if you like the content, please hit the like button and subscribe. But without further ado, go Big Red, go Matt Rule, and see you in the next one.